Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, look at you. Look at you. Here at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Mike's <laughs> Daily Podcast. It looks like people are wearing shorts at work. We used to have a dress code, but right now we're in that shelter in place mode. And we don't want to dress like we used to do Although I remember this one guy I used to work for us That wouldn't do a dang thing I told him to I'd say dress in a collared shirt And he'd go What? Mike's Daily Podcast Did you say dress in an Iron Maiden shirt? I think that's what you said Mike Matthews I think that's what you said Mike's I want to wear Daily Podcast I love Iron Maiden Podcast Iron Maiden's my bad over Yeah I love Iron Maiden I love it over Iron Maiden. Yes, in a world where things are often a bit too poppy, or if you do a little thing called metal, it sounds like. And that kind of thing, then I guess Iron Maiden sounds pretty good. Because they shredded. <laughs> That's right. That Now I remember. They shredded. They were a band that would shred. And what can, what can you say about bands that shred? They shred. And so, therefore, there you go. What kind of music does Mike like? I like Busty in the Bass featuring Macy Gray. What? Out of Love? Macy Gray's back? I try to step my body and I choke. Stand up at a man and I stumble. Wasn't that the song? Oh, Macy Gray. Hey, Mike Matthews here. What are we doing? Last show was called Cumberbund in honor of Benedict Cumberbatch. You're welcome for making that little connection. What's this show about today? This show is about people that don't let you off the hook. People that do not forgive. People that get a little angry at you and then they... And here's today's podcast picture. They hold it to you to your dying day. They hold you to a grudge. I think in the Bible, Jesus said something about holding grudges. Or was that Calvin and Hobbes? Somebody said it. Dang it. My brain ain't working today. What's new? The podcast picture today. Let's go back in time. I am, I'm zipping around the interesting shapes and images of a place that used to be what, Basil the Boxer was not here, and but he was implied. But he is sitting right over there. Hi, Basil. He's taking a nap, actually. This barking was pre-recorded. The following barking was pre-recorded. The following barking was transcribed. So, in 2014, yes, six years ago, I got to ride the train that takes you over to, uh, what's it called? Oakland Airport. Which, by the way, Oakland Airport, can you please get some more flights to places that I want to go and make them as cheap as SFO? Because I really don't want to take Bart all the way to SFO from Podcastro Valley. I'm asking you, please, do that for me. Thanks. Do me a solid. That expression grosses me out. Because I don't want to know what the solid is. But So the podcast picture is of this cool little thing that they built between the Bart station, the Oakland Coliseum Bart, and Oakland Airport. That you used to have to get on a smelly, awful bus, and you had to have exact change, and the bus driver was always mean, and that was once upon a time. It wasn't through AC transit, so like you, you were doing some kind of weird private bus thing, and I hated it. Then they created a funicular, a level funicular. Usually funiculars are those trains that take you from... There's one at the top and one at the bottom of a hill. And then people board both trains. And as the the upper train comes down, it's pulling the bottom train up. And then they... One comes down, one goes up. Ta-da! You're done. 
This train in the Oakland airport to Oakland Coliseum does the exact same thing, only there's a station in the very middle of the tracks between the the middle, the, the mid-distant point. The mid-distant, the, the, you know, the split, the, the uh, equal distant, the halfway point. Thank you. At that spot, there's this machine house, engine house that pulls them and then they stop for a second there at the engine house, and then it, it pushes them all the way to their destinations. It's cool. It's awesome. And six years ago, it opened. Did it open six, six years ago today? No. It did not. But for some reason, it popped up, and I wanted to show this picture to you because it was on my birthday in 2014 that I discovered this place, this cool little um, station that they have when you are... Uh, getting from that train when you get to the Oakland Coliseum BART station you've got this area I don't know how it looks now after wear and tear in the Bay Area six years in the Bay Area things look heck after six weeks after it, it, something in the Bay Area looks completely different it's graffitied it's torn down it's beat up somebody's punched it in the face it looks bad it's not because of the elements, because we really don't have that much of the elements going on here. A little bit of rain, sometimes a little bit of ash mixed with rain because of the fires that we get. Which, by the way, uh, Pacific Gas and Electric did a, ni- did a solid for me and sent me an email yesterday saying, Hey, we're coming up on that time for PSPS. <laughs> Ah, PSPS. What's that? That's the planned something, planned system power shutoffs, I think is what it stands for. Something to that effect. Is it, is it the same thing as PMS? Yes. I guess. I don't know. I'm not a woman. But from what women have told me, PMS is awful. And I think PSPS is going to be awful too. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we bring you Mike Stilly podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. That's all I'm saying about that. So, the podcast picture, I'm spending the whole podcast talking about this wonderful picture. That's what this podcast is about. Is there a category for that in iTunes? No. Pictures. (laughs) There's a podcast category called Pictures. Uh, No, but anyway, these images here, you see that cool little station. I don't know if it looks like that now. Oh, and there's also a little phone booth there, which those are all gone. So, yes, this is a very dated photo from six years ago. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. Tell me what you think about it. You can call me at 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6-MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily is what this podcast tries to do. All right. So, today we are discussing people that, let's say, all right, we all make mistakes. And some of us will make a mistake. And some of us, and, 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 you know, we get called, we we get caught with the mistake and what's the appropriate thing to do i'm sorry you apologize i'm going to do this better in the future i will not make the same mistake again this has taught me a lesson i'm going to change things going forward uh, i'm not going to keep doing the same mistake over and over again i'm going to work on this and i'm going to fix it so this won't happen again that kind of thing i have i basically hear as a manager when I catch someone making a mistake. And sometimes they make the mistake intentionally, unintentionally. You know, there's very varying degrees of mistakes. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, they go, oh, my bad. That's all they say. And then maybe they'll say something like, oh, it won't happen again. I, I know what I did wrong. I'll, I'll fix it. So, and that, that's very reassuring. Thank you. All right. So, as a manager, you go, good. Okay. Yes. Keep that in mind for the future. Moving forward. You know, things will be great. This is a bad manager move, and I've had this happen to me in the past, and it hasn't happened to me lately by a manager, but someone in the past I remember said to me these words after I apologize. They go, but, you know, why did it happen? Well, this happened, and this happened, and and it won't happen again. But why did you let it happen? I I said it was a mistake. I, I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. But why did it happen? It's like they can't get it through their mind that it's done. 
And some people know that when something's done, there are there is no such thing as a time machine. As sad as that fact remains, there is no time machine. I can't go back and fix it. I can't go back there. Let's move forward. Okay? Let's go. But why did it happen? Oh, I've had that before. It's basically like you're being crucified, figuratively, and that you are never going to be able to make it right. I have had that. Oh my gosh, that's right. I've had that in relationships too. That's no good. You say I'm sorry, you get forgiven, you go forward, you don't make the mistake again. But dang. And even, even like when you apologize and fall on the blade and say I'm sorry, and then they they continue to step on you while you're on the blade. That's okay. I'm getting a little. My figuratisms are getting a little too crazy there. But that's. That's what I don't understand about some people, and maybe we need a little less of that in this stressful world that we already live in. We deal with so many stresses, we don't need that, do we? And the other thing I wanted to cover, because I'm looking at the news right now, and I'm not really seeing anything that I want to talk about. Oh! Oh! Stephen Colbert, apparently. Oh, John Bolton said to Stephen Colbert, you've really insulted me by calling me naive. Ah, Stephen Colbert. And Stephen Colbert, well, you know what he's doing. He's trying to be Stephen Colbert. Holding people to the fire Holding their feet to the flames Meanwhile they, uh, The California Affirmative Action Ban California Ways Overturning 24 year ban Oh California's con- considering Overturning a 24 year ban on affirmative action And California voters will be asked To restore affirmative action in November That's what's going on in November. Oh, and for uh, Will Smith, Warner Brothers and Will Smith face breach of contract claim over King Richard. It's the biopic of Richard Williams, the father of Serena and Venus Williams. Really? Will Smith and Warner Brothers grand slammed with suit over King Richard film. Dang. All right. That's what's going on. So that's why I really didn't want... Oh, what's this? Police in California look for a woman who coughed on a baby after argument with mother. (laughs) Uh, What? what? That's an interesting one, huh? In a yogurt shop line, no less. Dang. Coughing. It's a thing. Wasn't there a band called Soul Coughing? As I remember, they were pretty good, but now I've completely forgotten. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. We're outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Let's say hi to some folks. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Kelly. It's too hard to get Jeff Sterilizer. I love you, Miss and Serena Williams. Yes. Do you have any of their, like, stuff in the gift shop? Yes, Mike Matthews. We have Serena and Venus Williams Snow Globe. We have so many awesome snow globes. Do we have any Serena or Venus Williams face masks? Yes, Mike Matthews. They cost $80 each. Gosh, you charge a lot for face masks. Is that allowed? Is that prouse prouse gouging? Prouse? Grouse? Pising? Grouse pising, I think. Grouse. Grouse? Grouses. Is that the plural of grouse? Have you ever shot in a a grouse? (laughs) Now I'm coming up with my own language. Shotten. Schadenfreude. Hey, that's German. Hey, I talked to my mom yesterday. Mike Matthews, um, am I done? Can I leave? Yes, go ahead. I'm going to go on this little ramp. Ramp. I'm going to go on a ramp now. Okay, Mike Matthews. Enjoy your ramp. Thank you. Yes, so I'm on this ramp. Let me finish my ramp. My ramp is, as I'm going up this ramp, I spoke with my mom yesterday. Please, uh, your loved ones, your parents, if they're alive, if you're, if you're, uh, uncles People that you know Maybe you did, you grew up with But like you haven't known them their whole lives So they had a whole life before you 
asked them questions about that life because I found it fascinating talking to my mom when she was a young child. She basically fled Poland. I never do that. She fled Poland. Hey, mom, what did you do as a kid? Oh, I fled Poland. Well, what do you know? Was it because you were gay? No. But that was because they don't like gays in Poland. Have you? They got kind of a thing about them from what I heard. But no, she got out of Poland because she was actually in a part of Germany that then Poland took over. So then they had to leave. And there you go. I had that interesting story from her yesterday. She, uh, she was born in 39, so she saw some stuff in her earlier days. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. That's a very interesting story. Mm-hmm. Yes, I should somehow put that to a mo- make that into a movie. She also had tuberculosis when she was 14 and had to spend a year and a half basically in quarantine with nuns talking about quarantine. Because I asked her yesterday, I'm like, is it to you, mom? Does it seem to you? So I, myself, Mike Matthews, was born in 1968. It feels like 1968, even though I don't really, I don't remember 1968 at all. But it feels like the 60s, the late 60s, because we've got people protesting. There's this, this massive social change going on. And let's see, we have, well, actually, we didn't have a Republican president in 68. Yes, we did. Wait, at the end of 68, Nixon got elected at the end of 68. But So maybe it's more like 69, but it was the summer of 69. And happy summer to you, by the way. Summer solstice. I keep forgetting to mention it. The longest day of the year was on Sunday. Now the days are getting slightly shorter. But dang, I forgot to mention that. So to all my pagan friends, uh, you know, don't, don't kill goats. That's not cool. That's not, I don't condone killing coats, totes. But yes, so back to this fascinating, uh, mom was, so I go, mom, was, is it like 68 now? She's like, no, it's like 1948 because that's when I was, uh, that's when I was quarantined. Um, actually it was more like in the early fifties that she was quarantined, but yes, that's what it felt like to her because of this, all this quarantining, this self quarantining that we're doing and I'm enjoying Enjoying my quarantine 15, and I hope you are enjoying everybody. Have you noticed everybody you know has gotten a little bit thicker, a little bit rounder, a little bit plumper? Just accept them for what they are, accept yourself for what you are, and accept this podcast for what it is because it is what it is, and it is not a bird because it's a podcast, not a bird. Tweet, tweet. And I will never, ever like the expression, it is what it is. And I abhor the very mention that I mentioned it. At any rate, that's what it is. So have a good day and enjoy the next podcast whenever that shows up. Um, you can tell me what you think about any of this. 336MM daily, 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews daily, is in what this podcast has been for quite a while. Hopefully, we don't get interrupted at any point uh, soon. Thank you all. 2071. That's what I forgot to say. F- F- episode 2071. And that next show will be Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.